to the world of colors. I'm Colors. Today I need to do a video to update my shoe video, my Dollar Tree shoe video, where I take these little pots of gold from St. Patrick's Day. They come like this, five in a package, and uh, I stock up on these with these and get quite a few of them um, on St. Patrick's Day. Excuse me. <clears throat> So you want to take two of those and you want to pull off the handles and you need to get some little anklets you can use adult anklets too I have children little children um, half cushion quarter socks that I'm going to use this morning you could but you know if you have like socks where you've used the tops and not the bottoms you can use those and just just pretty much you just need the toe of the sock to do it so we'll have um what we'll want to do is take the pot of gold take the handle off and then take a pair of scissors and cut down the seam the seam is right on the side here and cut that down like that and then you want to cut a little slit in the side this is part that's just to catch the rubber band and then you want to kind of push the side in and let the side with the slit be on the outside like that like that and then take your rubber band and rubber band it around like that and you see how the slit part is catching the rubber band if you didn't have the slit the rubber band would just keep coming back off so you want to do that and I, I usually put two rubber bands and since I've started doing the one ply burlap or one ply, ply jute on all my rubber banded joints I'm going to go ahead and tie these as well just to secure if the rubber bands were to come undone. So we get that like that. And I'm gonna do this one the same way. So I've got the other one made, just like I made the first one. The next thing you wanna do is go ahead and cut with your X-Acto knife little round dime size holes in the sides about like that you want to do it in both sides So then after you get your holes in the sides is what you want to do is go ahead and put the socks on you want to get the seam of the toe right right in the front of the sh shoe and then just tuck in this extra sock material We'll do that over here. Like that. And then you find the hole and you put some glue on it because we're going to glue these together. You find your hole. Just 
kind of mark your spot there. And we're gonna glue them together like this. I'm gonna hold them for a few minutes and apply quite a bit of pressure. So I've got them glued together. The next thing you wanna do is go ahead and fill them with marbles. Get them all filled with marbles. And I'll get that and I'll get that done. And I I'm not going to embellish these Shoes, but you can embellish them any way you want and I'll show you how on Miss Jelly Bean they're embellished on her and you'll see them on a lot of my gnomes on on my channel have these and they're embellished always in a different way Now you get these marbles in like that all the way to the top and then is what you want to do is run your glue right around the top like that and glue them right to the bottom of your body. So that's pretty good. You want to fold like that. And then when you stretch out the bottom of your body and then lay it on those, the glue on the top and apply pressure and hold that for a few minutes so those can glue onto the bottom. So on Miss Jelly Bean, for example, this is, she had white shoes and this is how I embellished her shoes. She's a video on my channel, by the way, if you're interested in seeing how she was made, you can go to the Miss Jelly Bean video but she's got the same shoes, these shoes here, and she stands up beautifully. And you can slap the marbles down like that. Now, if you had a problem with them standing up that nice, I have another Miss Jelly Bean here that she wanted to tip. See how nicely she stands? But she wanted to fall back. So as what I did was, I'm just thinking in my head, what I did was I took these flat marbles and I gave her flat marbles on the back so that she would stand up nicely like that. So occasionally you'll find that you have a problem that they don't, they want to tip and it's because of, of where they glued together at is weak. And for some reason that happens on some of them. So if that happens and they want to fall back, you can put a couple marbles on the back. And if they, they want to fall, fall forward, then you put a couple marbles on the front of their shoes in the front. I call them tap shoes. So that's what you do if you have that problem. So that's about all I wanted to show you today on my shoe video. Make sure to stock up on these when they come out on St. Patrick's Day. Um, I get quite a few of them, so I have them throughout the whole year. They do come out with them as cauldrons on Halloween, but they're a lot thicker. And I, I really don't like working with the thicker ones. These ones are a lot easier to make the shoes with. So I think that's all the information I can give you about making the shoes. I hope they work for you lots of times and you enjoy making them. And if you like this video, make sure to like it. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe.